Welcome to TRM's tutorial on configuring a Maximo Anywhere app. This tutorial will show how to add a field to a Maximo Anywhere app. To do this, we'll use TRM's Anywhere Builder because it will vastly simplify this process. First, let's explore the Job Plan app to see what we're going to add. The Job Plan app is a clone of the Work Order Execution app. See our other tutorial on how to clone an app. We'll start by opening the Job Plan overview and clicking the Start Page button then navigating through the app as a front-end user would. First, let's add the JP description or the job plan description to the start page, right where the asset num and description field currently is. Then, on the details page, we'll want to add a row for job plan and job plan description above the asset row. To do this, we'll need to bind the data or job plan with the work order resource. Notice that we do not have JP num or job plan description as part of our resource. So we'll start our wizard. Let's import from Maximo. We'll select the fields option. Then we'll select our job plan object. And we'll say we'll want to put it underneath the work order resource. Then we'll select the fields we want to bring in. We'll select description and JP num. Then we need to make sure that we have the correct relationship relating the work order to the job plan. Now this is a one-to-one -one relationship so we want these fields to appear directly under the work order resource. Next we'll need to modify Maximo to make sure that the object structure is updated to include the job plan. This wizard will do all the necessary configurations in both Maximo and in Maximo Anywhere. Then we'll need to synchronize Maximo Anywhere to make sure that we have the correct metadata downloaded and synchronized with the Maximo server instance. Finally, We'll make the configurations to our app XML. Great, now we have our fields appearing underneath our work order resource. As you can see here, we have correctly implemented, imported these fields. Since we don't want description to be the name of our job plan description, we'll rename this to be JP description to make it more unique. Now let's go back to our UI, delete the asset num and description field currently in the place on the list page, and just drag and drop our JP description field to the location we want. Then we're going to go back to our detail view and drag and drop our JP num field to create a new row above the asset. Now we also want the JP description to appear underneath the JP num. So we'll drop that on the, on the row as well. Then we'll change this to be read only, as this is a standard practice. Oops, I should also delete the title so it doesn't say description. We'll just want to see the description underneath. We don't need an actual label for it. Now we'll save our application and We'll go back and we'll launch in preview. This will automatically start a build process which will build just the job plan application and then launch our development server so that we can preview in Chrome and Cordova our job plan application with the new configurations. Now, we'll need to go down and find an existing work order in the out-of-box data that has job plans associated with it. Notice, oops, 
notice on here that we have no job plans associated with any of these existing ones. Here's one, disable IT accounts. As you can see, the job plan row appears above the asset. And we're seeing our job plan description alongside our statuses. Going to one that does not have a job plan, we see that the field is null.